Over the years, Sebastian Buemi has become one of the leading drivers in Formula E, having competed in the series since its beginnings on the streets of Beijing in 2014. Known for his rapid one-lap pace and fiery personality, Buemi has become one of the biggest names in the series' first decade. Going hand-in-hand -hand with this persona, Buemi has had a habit of getting involved in incidents such as in Diria, where he crashed heavily in qualifying and interrupting other drivers' laps. This is just the latest in a string of incidents going back to the very beginning of his time in Formula 1, where chaos seems to follow Buemi wherever he goes. So join us as we take a look back at some of the most chaotic moments involving Sebastian Buemi. Number 1. The Season 2 London Finale As some may remember, the second season of Formula E reached an epic conclusion on the streets of Battersea Park in London as Sebastian Buemi and Lucas de Grassi prepared to duke it out for title glory. In the opening corners of the first lap, the two made contact, with de Grassi ploughing into the back of Buemi's Renault. In a Formula E race today, both drivers would have been forced to the sidelines for the remainder of the race, but fortuitously, the nature of the series at the time meant that both drivers were able to limp back to the pit and change to their second cars. This, of course, led to the now infamous fastest lap shootout between the pair of them, which was won by Sebastian Buemi, allowing him to take the title. Number 2. The Montreal Meltdown in one of the most infamous moments in Formula E history, Sebastian Buemi came into the Season 3 finale with a 10-point lead over rival Lucas de Grassi. However, a botched qualifying forced him to start from the back of the grid, meaning that he would have to push his way through the field if he wanted to keep his title lead. The race would not get off to a good start, as he made contact with Freins in the opening corners, which contributed to him dropping four positions on the opening lap. Things would continue to get worse from there, as he felt he was deliberately backed up by Degrassi's teammate Daniel Apt in the pit lane during his mid-race pit stop. When it was all said and done, Buemi eventually made his way up to fourth. However, the drama was not done there. Angry with how the race had played out, he angrily confronted Freins and his Andretti teammate in the pit lane and had a heated discussion with a pair of them. He then followed this up by taking his remaining anger out on a passing Daniel Apt. Buemi would eventually go on to lose the title the next day to Lucas de Grassi, a massive meltdown after coming into the weekend with a double-digit point lead. Number 3. The Sanya Send at the midway point of Season 5 of Formula E, the paddock descended on the subtropical island of Hainan for the inaugural Sanya E Prix. With the tight drivers' championship well and truly underway, tensions were high heading into the weekend. But Sebastian Buemi's moment of glory would have to wait, as the race had a somewhat chaotic start with multiple drivers out of the race in the opening laps. While there was a bit of a lull in the middle of the race, the action became frenetic as the laps ticked down. On the penultimate lap while running in 8th place, Buemi went for an ambitious move at the hairpin. Unfortunately for him, Robin Freins and Lucas de Grassi, it was an all-risk, no-reward move as he clattered into the back of Freins, sending the Dutchman into de Grassi. Both Freins and de Grassi were out on the spot and Buemi was given a 10-second penalty which would drop him from 6th at the flag to 8th. This incident had serious championship implications, as race winner and eventual champion jean Eric Byrne gained 25 points on the trio, who would end up finishing 2nd, 3rd and 4th in the championship. Number 4. The Seoul Pile-Up In Season 8, Formula E ventured to South Korea for the first, and as of 2024, the only time. A tight, twisty circuit awaited the drivers, which included driving through the Olympic Stadium. But it would not be the section that would cause the drivers, Buemi included, headaches. The innocuous penultimate corner delivered a pile-up on the opening laps with Buemi front and centre, as multiple drivers misjudged the wet conditions and went flying into the barrier, just like they had done several weeks prior in New York. Buemi, who was one of the first drivers to hit the barrier, was pitched upwards by the Mercedes of Nick de Vries. This left de Vries' car underneath the Nissan, and the somewhat comical sight of Buemi being the cherry on top of a cake of cars. The red flag was brought out immediately to deal with the carnage. Luckily, all drivers were unhurt. Number 5. The Rome Pileup Season 9 saw one of the biggest crashes in Formula E history, and Sebastian Buemi was front and centre. Sam Bird lost his Jaguar at the blind corner at turn 9, leaving him in a vulnerable spot in the middle of the road. Some of the cars directly behind Bird were able to avoid him, but many, including Buemi, were not so lucky. He clipped the rear of the Jaguar and went airborne, probably treating deja vu from Seoul in the process. The impact from the crash sent his car into a near barrel roll, but he managed to land right side up and was forced to retire. 
Number 6. The Season 9 London E Prix At the London E Prix this past season, tension was high at the Envision team as the Silverstone-based squad was in the midst of a title decider with their powertrain provider Jaguar. Buemi's teammate Nick Cassidy was also in with an outside shot of the driver's title at the doubleheader finale. Despite winning the team's championship, Buemi had a weekend to forget. In the first race, he clipped the front wing of his teammate Cassidy, breaking it and causing the Kiwi to tumble out of the points, handing the title on a silver platter to eventual champion Jake Dennis. While Buemi was distraught with the sequence of events, there's no doubt that it compromised Envision's title hopes. As if one incident wasn't enough, Buemi would cause a red flag towards the end of the race as his heavy defense of Norman Nato sent the pair of them into the barrier and the resulting Constantina led to the first traffic jam in London XL history. Number 7. The Diria Shunt Finishing off with the event from the previous race, Sebastian Buemi went for a final flying run in the dying stages of qualifying. However, the lap would be over before it ever really got going, as he misjudged his braking point and careened into the barrier at turn 1, bringing out the red flag. This would cause other drivers, including defending champion Jake Dennis and Sam Bird, to start further down the order than they otherwise would. To make Buemi's day even worse, his car was so damaged that he was forced to sit out the race. Of course, with only three rounds of 16 complete, it's way too early to tell if this incident had championship implications, but it's something to keep in mind as we head to the tropics of Brazil for our next round. So there you have it, seven times that Sebastian Buemi has been involved in chaotic incidents. Some were definitely his fault, others maybe not, but surely he'll be involved in many more in the years to come. And we'd like to leave you with a question today. Can Buemi's chaotic moments be blamed for their impact on other drivers' finishes, or is that simply just the nature of the sport? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below.